Hand loaders, bullet casters, welcome back to my bench. Welcome back to our discussion on sorting out lead wheel weights, figuring out what to do with them, and so on. So the question was brought up recently, are one type of wheel weight, say for example, maybe a wheel weight stamped with P without a coat, any harder or softer than one that is stamped um, AL that is coated, and if so, is the difference enough that it merits separating your clip-on weights by stamp so that you can retain or get the hardness that you're looking for for your bullets? I never really gave that much thought, folks, but, you know, it's worth investigating. And someone asked that question, so I am going to answer it as best as I can. Now, I recently put out a video discussing how I take hardness measurements. I use this little Lee hardness testing kit, and as you may know, or may have heard, there is this little pocket microscope that I have chalked up in these soft jaws. There is a very easy way to use this that will help on aging eyes and that sort of thing. So, take a look. At that video, I'm going to put up a card so you can see it. I'm not going to go through the whole process right now because I really just want to show you my results from the hardness test on each wheel weight. So here's my little cheat sheet here. So I took a sample of several different types of weights. You know, the first weight I had didn't have any kind of marking except for its weight. That's this weight that's right here that's already kind of cut up. I only had one of them, so, you know, this, this one's kind of boogered up. I also had, you know, this AL-MC. Okay, both of these were uncoated. And as you see, there was an AW, an MC, a micro, and a P. These are all things you'll probably be pretty familiar with if you separated a couple of buckets by this point. And perhaps you've noticed that some are coated and some are not. And by coated, I mean these things have like a paint on them of some sort from the factory, from the smelters, or the casters, whatever it is you want to call it. These people that make wheel weights. So this one here, and this one here, and I've got them indicated with an asterisk because one of the questions was, are the coated ones harder than the others? Well, you know, worth finding out. And the thing is, for a lot of new casters, people tend to associate these coatings with, you know, possible zinc, maybe. Um, they're concerned about it, at least. So, I've taken a sample of each kind, and that's what the little indention is for, if you can see it, in each one of those little sample pieces. And we measure the indention through that little Lee pocket microscope and that correlates to a certain hardness. So this first wheel weight that had no marking, any kind of bearing like you see right there, you know, yielded an 11 BHN. Then we had this ALMC, which was, you know, a good little bit more at 12.5. Same exact hardness as this AW, but hey, this one here is coated. All right, so it wasn't any harder than this uncoated ALMC. Then we go down to our next one, the MC, which was also coated, and it was actually softer than the first one we checked that was coated, and is actually even softer than this second one we measured, which is also uncoated. So I'm not seeing anything real promising about coating being an indicator of hardness. And interestingly, this micro, which was an uncoated wheel weight, was the hardest one of them all, 13.4 BHN. Then we get down to the traditional P wheel weight. Here, and I'll put this so you can see it in perspective. You know, this is one that you see a lot, and you know right away is lead. You know, this was 11.8 BHN. These micros kind of like those P's. For the most part, this one's nasty. Kind of hard to see, but yeah, it is a micro. But I don't think we see anything here that really justifies saying that 
one will wait is harder than the other because it has a coating. But what we do see is there are variations. Now, does this mean that a, an ALMC wheel weight is always going to be 12.5 BHN? Uh, absolutely not, because, you know, lot to lot discrepancies or variations, just like with our powder, just like with our primers. You know, this lot, all of them might have been 12.5. But then once they filled up their smelting pots and everything else, turned out that set was 13.4. Uh, I don't know. But that is exactly how these have shaken out. So this very small sample should only be used to give you an idea that there are differences. And the amount of difference may or may not mean something to you. So as far as a concern about there being zinc in any of these wheel weights, folks, don't worry about that because you're not going to alloy zinc and lead together for wheel weight making purposes. In fact, I don't think you're going to have much luck alloying zinc and lead together for much of any purpose. So don't get worried about those coatings. Understand some weights are going to be harder than the others. Now we see, uh, you know, about a 2.4 BHN difference on this little sample I've got between the uh, softest and the hardest. Is that enough to justify separating your weights by the uh, stamp that's on them? Maybe it is for you. For me, probably not. It sounds like a whole bunch of extra work. Don't be afraid of those weights. Folks, smelt them, cast them, make good bullets out of them, and if you still don't feel comfortable with them, stick them in a flat rate box and send them to the leadsmith. All right, brothers, sisters, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.